Before Saturday, it had been 18 months since Alexander Dozik played a college basketball game. The six foot nine forward transferred to Marist College from Marshall over a year and a half ago and sat out last season per the NCAA's residency guidelines. Dozik was welcomed back with a wild game, although it didn't fall Marist's way. The Red Foxes rallied from a 12 point halftime deficit and forced overtime, but lost to visiting Lehigh 84 76. Marist hasn't won its season opener since 2007. Against expectations, Marist men believe winning starts now. Marist basketball returns with new hope and new season. Marist men face questions after another losing season. Emotions, Dozik said, overcame him throughout the course of the game and caused some lapses. But despite them, he was encouraged and insists he and his team can perform to a higher level as the season progresses. Scenes from the Marist men's basketball home opener by photo. Scenes from the Marist men's basketball home opener against Lehigh. Alex H. Wagner Poughkeepsie Journal. Marist's Alexander Dosick goes for a layup during Saturdays. Last slide next slide. I made some mistakes and had some turnovers that I shouldn't have had, said Dosick, who finished with 13 points, a team high nine rebounds, two assists and a block. I had a lot of energy, but I think I need to make better shots and make smarter decisions. I think it was a good experience, but I really think we can be much better than this. We have a bright season in front of us. Coach Mike Maker said the addition of Dosik has made his team better, describing his new forward this year as a weapon. And Maker too, saw the encouraging signs despite the loss. Namely, his team's resiliency, the way his players eliminated turnovers in the second half, and his team's field goal percentage. Marist battled back from double-digit deficits twice in the second half and committed just five turnovers in the second half after turning the ball over 11 times over the first 20 minutes. The coach also liked his team's field goal percentage of 43.6. The Red Foxes drained 24 field goals in 55 attempts. I saw a lot of encouraging signs for a team that can grow and learn what they have to do to win games down the stretch, Maker said. I really like this team. I thought our chemistry on the court was really good, and I think all the guys who are returning have all gotten better. Junior wing Ryan Funk is among the returners who had a big game. He finished with 19 points and 4 rebounds. Junior guard Brian Parker led Marist with 22 points and added 8 rebounds. He was also 11 for 16 from behind the free throw line. Tied at 69 at the end of regulation, Tobias Joberg opened the overtime frame with a layup. He was fouled and hit the free throw to give Marist a 3-point lead. Lehigh answered with a jumper by Lance Tejada, which trimmed the Red Foxes lead to 1. Stjoberg made another layup on the Red Fox's next possession, but Kyle Lufroy tied it on the Mountain Hawks' next possession with a three-pointer. Dozik missed a layup on Marist's next possession and Pat Andre grabbed the rebound. Tejada hit another jump shot, then a layup after Stjoberg committed a turnover. Dozik hit two free throws later in the period to trim Lehigh's lead to 78-76, but a layup by Caleb Bennett and two good foul shots from Andre iced the game. Lehigh led 38-26 at halftime, but Marist cut the Mountain Hawks' lead to 38-36. Lehigh didn't yield, eventually building its advantage back to 10 points. Marist wasn't finished either, though, and went on a 14-4 run that was capped with a free throw by David Knudsen to tie it at 58. Dozik gave the Red Foxes their first lead with a layup, but the Mountain Hawks tied it at 67 with 28 seconds to play. Funk gave the Red Foxes a two-point lead on a foul shot, but Tejada was fouled outside the three-point arc on Lehigh's ensuing possession. He hit two of the three shots to tie it and send it into overtime. It's a tough one to play a tough game and lose, Funk said. But we've got a bright future and we should bounce back. Marist will visit Eumis Lowell on Wednesday at 7.30 p.m.